Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Yomesh Gupta. And in this video, we are going to talk about a problem that I faced while building DevTools Tech platform. Uh, specifically, we are going to talk about how to dynamically generate social preview images. We are going to take a look at what was the problem statement, what were the different approaches I came up with, and what was the path of least resistance and the most scalable solution for the moment I felt and I implemented it. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So you must be wondering what is this the social preview image is all about and you know what is what is the dynamic behavior we need here. So give uh, to give some context here that if you work on a product in an organization or as an indie developer or side project or something then you know that it is a never ending quest to make your product better, to make it more seamless, to make it more appealing for the end user, to bring more traffic. So I, I was faced with one such problem that when we share any link on a social platform, let me give you an example. Let's say I share devtools.tech on uh, any social platform and if I preview the uh, social preview as in what kind, how it's going to appear on sites like Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook uh, or different platforms then this is the view which uh, the users are going to get currently that they are going to get some image and uh, some text and some description. So this image which is shown here is the social preview and what I was doing right now is that I was serving this generic image uh, to all the users for all the links no matter the DevTools tech platform has different type of uh, content you have questions you have resources list and uh, home page and different type of pages for all the pages I was serving this uh, single image so uh, for me one low hanging fruit was that how can I customize this image because this uh, rich preview on as any social media site uh, is uh, you know a gateway for the users if, if if we make it better more appealing then it's more likely that they'll click so my idea was to make it somehow more appealing and somehow more related to the link I'm sharing so I'm going to talk about here that what kind of solutions I came up with so if we go back to the slides so the first solution I came up was that uh, whenever I create a question whenever I you know uh, update a question or anything of that operation then I uh, generate the image on my backend that uh, whenever the request reaches to my controller I maybe implement a pop sub mechanism to make it more robust that I uh, publish a job to the queue and uh, the consumer will pick up that job it will fetch the question and based on the question title it generates an image for that question and save it on the disk and eventually we serve it via CTN so uh, this is similar to let's say this is a this is a question so it would create a image sim uh, similar to this but this was one of the approaches so the approaches I'm going to share are in no particular order I mean these are uh, like this is better than this or that these are just the approaches I came up with so this was one image which, ha which had a lot of moving parts so I thought what could be the another approach so the next approach was that I could write a custom script which I can run it as a cron maybe it could be you know run through pm2 or something which fetches all the questions let's say during the low peak hours the script would run it would fetch all the questions it would check that if an image exists for the question and if or the uh, image if it exists then is it stale or is it updated if it's stale then we'll regenerate it if it's not uh, if it if it doesn't exist then we will generate it and we'll follow the same mechanism maybe we will uh, generate image using some node package or maybe puppeteer or something and we'll save it on the disk and eventually we'll serve it by the CDN now these both of these approaches require me to manually code and you know some custom in-house solution so my next thought was what else can we do so the third approach was that why to reinvent the wheel altogether can we you know try some existing solutions in the market are there any free tools and if nothing else works is are there any paid tools and so my preference was that I'll pay for a tool as the last resort try to either build it or you know try to find the some free solutions 
so and then i started searching so we talked about all the approaches uh, and i eventually picked up the third approach where uh, i would uh, you know check out, use an existing third party tool so while doing my research i you know i use a certain service first of all this video is not sponsored by anyone it's just simply i used a tool i used a service and it solved my purpose so i am sharing this and making this video so that you know if you are uh, uh, want to implement this and want to see for a problem statement how to come up with different solutions and how to implement a certain solution so that's my only purpose here though i mean people can sponsor this there is no problem in that but still it's not sponsored so i use this uh, service called imagekit.io uh, basically i use this to serve all the images on uh, dev tools tech platform so while going through their documentation and checking out you know different uh, services i came across one thing that uh, there, there was this option that in the api that you know we can overlay some text on a certain image like if we fetch an image then we can pass a certain text as a query param and it would overlay on that image and this is a good starting point for what i wanted and so what i did was that we saw that i had this image where i was serving the generic social preview image so i took this image and removed everything and created this blank image if you see i created this blank image and inside and just added like a placeholder and i uploaded to the my image kit io storage and uh, once it's uploaded what i did was that uh, inside my code what i did was that i first of all i took the you, you know url of this image i copied the url and uh, inside my code there is this meta function which basically runs on runtime uh, whenever we are fetching the page it this function is uh, executed and it serves all the meta tags so i created this uh, utility called generate social image which takes the title of the question so if i go to this utility it takes the title and by default it's an empty string so if there is if there is no title then it returns the by default uh, uh, image which is the you know uh, generic image we saw and if there is the title then it's uh, performs some cleaning and then it uh, fetch it, takes the url of that blank canvas and uh, it passes if i you know if i scroll if it passes that title so as a param it says ot which is overlay text and it uh, passes that text that in the uri encodes that uh, that text and passes as a param then there are other parameters otp20 that is overlay text padding overlay text size overlay text color and the total width of the overlay text which is 1200 now this is overlay text bold and the format which is png so basically it forms a url which they where the first part of the url is the blank canvas image and passes rest of the data as the params which is the title i want to overlay and the properties you can you know i'll share this uh, article in the description you can go through and read what all parameters and what all we can play around with so uh, now this meta function executed it computes the url for the social preview image and if i go to my question and uh, if we see then let's say we have this tag twitter image inside this we have this uh, uh, long uh, image url if i you know open this url in any uh, if i try to fetch this image then you can see in on the blank canvas my question title which was how to implement diary dot prototype dot push this uh, this is overlaid and it automatically truncates the uh, overflowing text so this act as a good point that now my image now if i for this url if i check the social preview then you can see that for this url we are getting a much better preview the social pre uh, preview the image is related to the question title and it is more likely that you know when because on your social feed you see a big image and you see the text on it which is related to the link so you are more likely to click on it so 
this is how I implemented this with a very minimal solution and just to recap I took an existing service uh, and uh, you know I see that how I am using that service are there any better option you know what's the API I read the documentation can I use that then I was able to find the one solution where I could overlay text over my existing image I you I wrote a simple utility to compute the function on runtime now since it's on runtime and uh, I don't need to worry about or uh, staleness that if I update the question title then the uh, image would be updated uh, right away because I'm passing the title as the query param so this brings into a video so we talked about what was the problem statement and what sort of system we can design what are the different approaches that we can take to build the system and uh, how we were able to achieve it with minimal code and using a third party service at, at as of this moment this uh, you know it's working well for me uh, it's scalable uh, but eventually if i see any bottleneck or you know stuck somewhere then and if i go another route and implement some other solution then i would share that too there would be another video coming for that so till then please uh, as i always say do like share and subscribe if you see value in this content then please do share it on social platforms do share it with your friends so that there is more awareness around our content so till next time see you take care bye bye